Hey everyone, it's Scormer here. Time for my first makeup tutorial video. First off, I have to tie my hair back so it doesn't get in my way. In case anyone is curious, that's Queen Elsa on my t-shirt. And if you haven't seen it yet, my sister Pixie already did her own makeup tutorial video, so after you're done with this, check hers out. And now we're ready. First off, we're going to be using Sassy and Chic Liquid Foundation in the color light. Grab your beauty blender or your foundation brush, whichever you prefer. I prefer the makeup sponge because it makes the foundation go on a lot smoother. Next we will be defining my eyebrows. We are using LA Keller's Fab Palette. Don't use the makeup sponge, it don't work. Use your eyeshadow brush. Now try to get a color that's just a tad bit darker than your natural eyebrow color. You just put just a tad bit on. You don't want to go overboard. You can't really see a difference because the lighting is bad, but when you're out in natural light, it makes a total difference. Next, take an eyebrow comb. Just smooth them through your eyebrows. This evens out the powder and makes it look smoother. Next, we'll be taking Elf's Flawless Eyeshadow in the color Smoky. Again, don't use the eyeshadow sponge. We'll take the base color. And sweep it over your lid up to your eyebrow bone. If you do not have an eyeshadow primer on, I would suggest using two coats. Wipe off the excess. Next, grab the second color. And apply it to just your lid. I would suggest using a patting motion than a sweeping motion because patting transfers the color a lot better and if you sweep it becomes patchy and there's streaky texture to it. Next, take your crease brush, pick up the third color, and 
and in short strokes apply it to just the crease of your eye. Don't forget to tap off the excess. You don't want it to be too dark. Now taking the fourth color on the eyeshadow palette, pick up just a teeny tiny bit on the very tip of the brush and apply it to the line right above your eyelashes. If you have a line brush it helps but I don't have one so I just use my eyeshadow brush. This helps it look like a tight line look. Next we are taking Wet n Wild Color Icon White Eye Pencil and apply it to the waterline. Now most people starting on their makeup are squeamish about doing waterline. I used to be that way all the time growing up till a few months ago when I first tried it out and it does help. It makes your eyes look bigger, brighter. My sister does the upper waterline or upper under eyelid and I can't do it. This is LA Color Optimate Liquid Eyeliner. With a sponge applicator. When she puts her eyeliner on underneath the waterline it makes me squeamish. I can't do it. It just freaks me out. Now add a bit of a wing. Most people when they do their wing they pull it like up close to their eyelid, close to their eyebrow and I just like it going out straight. It's more of a cat eye look than a wing. Before when I did my sister's makeup, I tried to help her define her eyebrows because she has really, really light eyebrows and she, she was having none of it. I don't know if she thought I was going to mess them up, misshape them, shave them off. I don't know, but she would not let me trim them. She would not let me color them. Nothing. Then on the liquid liner, I love liquid liner. It, it does a lot better than pencil. She likes the automatic pencil and doesn't care for the liquid eyeliner. That's just opposite ends of the coin. Now we take LA Color Powder Blush and we have to use the little brush that comes with it because I don't own a blush brush just yet. Apply it just to the, your cheekbone. Don't go down too far with it. Blend it out. Next we're taking LA Color Bold Lash Mascara. And when I apply my mascara, I never apply it to the bottom line. I just I never have. I think it makes it too messy looking when I do it.
No, it's not her lipstick. It's in the color Forever Rose. I have looked for this lipstick everywhere. I went to so many stores trying to find it, and I cannot find it. Please comment below if you know where to find that color. You line the lips first and then fill in. Now we take LA Color Moisturizing Lip Gloss in the color Red Alert. And we're just going to apply that just to the close of your lip, like the bottom part and the very top part of the close. This gives it a 3D look. And now we're done. Just take my hair down so I can give you the finished look. This is the result. Thank you all so much. Please like, comment below, and subscribe. Thank you all. Bye.